Well, for those of you that I haven't met, my name is Dave. I'm the father of the bride, and I have the privilege to give the first speech tonight. So I remember vividly the nurse's instructions as we left the hospital with AJ. She said, take her home and love her. And I think Chris and I did a pretty good job of that. It wasn't always easy. At times, we actually couldn't tell who the parent was and who was the child, because AJ always wanted to run the show. Surprise. One of my favorite stories, and AJ's heard me tell this a thousand times, is when she was about five years old. Chris and I were going out one night and the babysitter had just arrived. So we left, we closed the door, but I forgot something. So just as I opened the door to come back in, I hear AJ telling the babysitter, forget what my parents told you, I'm in charge. <laughs> Not much has changed since. AJ and Andrew, if you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage. We have. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? We will. Will, will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ in this church? We, we will. will. Since then, my friends, it is your intention to enter into this vocation of marriage. I invite you now to turn, face one another, to join your hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Andrew, take you, AJ, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, AJ, take you, Andrew, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with blessings. For what God has joined, no one can divide. AJ has a smile that instantly lights up the room and she is probably one of the calmest people I've ever met. Even her wedding day, she was happy and calm and carefree. He's just that kind of guy that when People say, oh, do you want to do something tonight? Andrew's coming out. Everyone wants to go out because they just want to be around him. He's just kind of got that personality, and you know it's always going to be a lot of fun. Sun in our eyes, bringing every secret to light. Seeing through the darkest white lies, we are alive. This was probably the beginning of last summer. He told me it's coming soon, and, and then they went to Hawaii together, and... Andrew just sent out on our email listserv a picture of a Taco Bell hot sauce that said, Will you marry me? We can wait to get there. Our hearts race together. Come on, let's go. I remember that when he sent the email to all the boys, um, AJ was calling me, and with the time difference, it was like 3 in the morning in Philly. And my phone was going off, and Dan's phone was going off, and we were both like, what is going on? But then we were like screaming in the middle of the night, really excited about it. AJ and Andrew, we're so happy for you. <laughs>
So by passing AJ off to Andrew, I know that she will be in good company. Andrew, you are, out of all the men that AJ has brought home, you are my favorite. longer than Kim Ye's. And always know that I will always love and support you, just like I know that you will always love and support me, both emotionally and financially. And Andrew, welcome to the family. able to do things with Andrew that no one else in our family has been able to do. For example, my mom has been trying to get Andrew to eat vegetables his entire life so that he could grow up big and strong. He showed her. But just a few months ago, I don't know if any of you noticed this, but AJ turned Andrew vegan. Lasted for a week. That's amazing. Everyone seems to take an instant like to Andrew and my family was no exception. I don't think I've met anyone with more friends, which is a great tribute to him. Although when I heard the guest count, I was wondering if maybe AJ could have dated with someone with a few less friends. A word of advice for AJ and Andrew in the future is to always kiss kiss. AJ, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Andrew, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So I'll tell you, AJ and Andrew, keep each other. It's never a straight line in life. There are always detours, frustrations, highs and lows. You have no idea what you're getting into and no idea where life will lead. But that's the scary and the fun part. So I recently just graduated from college. Thank you, thank you. Don't get too excited though, I totally live up to the maid of honor stigma. I am boyfriendless, jobless, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with my life. And I actually look around and I see a lot of you were at my wedding, so you were lucky enough to see Andrew's best man speech for me. 
So I have uh, big footsteps to follow, literally. Uh, but I'm going to give it my best shot. DJ? No, cut, 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 cut. I can't rap. <laughs> I don't have skills like Andrew. October 1987. After a long night, back and forth to the hospital, after an exhausting day with lots of pain, cramps, nausea, and suffering, that was me. Chris was fine. AJ was finally born in the late afternoon. So after Chris was back in the room and everyone was settled and tired, I left the hospital, picked up some Chinese food and beer, and went back to a quiet house. So as I relaxed and watched some TV, I was thinking, this father stuff isn't really all that hard. So I had no idea. Okay, thank you.